Good evening. It's Symphony Tacoma to you tonight on February the 6th, and we have been waiting and looking forward to this night for many, many months. This is the launch of Eternal Light. If you can let us know that you are with us by posting us a, a comment in the chat, say hi to each other, and we welcome you to have a backstage chat with us as this has been broadcast to both Facebook and YouTube live right now. And you are just going to have such a wonderful time with us. I hope we have some fantastic guests and friends who've been just critical part of making eternal light come alive. Now, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about this project and where it came from. Um, back in March, uh, when COVID happened, it was sort of a crazy time. We, we, we know it still is. Um, but I was trying to think, what can we do for the symphony? Um, what can we do to connect our community? And what can we do to bring children in? Because we'd just had to cancel our Mozart Requiem performance, uh, as well as other world premieres. And I thought, oh, goodness. One of my favorite parts in Mozart Requiem is the Lux Eterna, near the very end of the piece, and it means eternal light. And so I thought it would be great. And actually, this was just a little idea I had while I was running, and some of these ideas are probably a bit crazy, and, and I think this is probably one of my crazy ideas. But thanks to so many people, it has come alive um, and produced something that I think is quite uh, special because of those people that were involved. And this crazy idea was, how about if all these kids could just write a little something or send in a picture or a photograph or something that inspires them, something that helps carry us through um, this time and we will connect those into one special piece of music. And uh, we've actually, by God, we've done it. <laughs> and I'm just so excited to share it with you tonight. So here's um, just a little bit of a clip you, to, to have you meet the team behind the eternal light. So I'm going to have you listen to this and enjoy this little moment. <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. So first of all, I'm Kim Charnberg. Uh, I'm, yeah, you can go on my website if you want to see what I do. I, I do a lot of stuff. Um, so I mainly do arranging and things like that. Sarah and I have done just lots and lots of projects together over the years. I am Will Scharnberg and I'm a music producer based in LA. Um, I do a lot of what you do similar, like to cool. listening to that, I was like, that sounds like something I would make. Um, awesome. So it'll be exciting to work with you. And it's like, it looks like you have more keyboards than I do. Um, <laughs> I mean. Hi, Kevin. Nice to meet you. I'm Hi. a man, but you can call me fair. I'm I'm um, I'm a filmmaker, but primarily my heart's in editing. So everything I do is, is combining the two things that I love, which is like sound and visuals and really creating emotion out of it. So um, that's essentially what I do. So Sarah, do you want to just give us an overview uh, about the project on how you came up with it? The seed is that the light goes on through music, through the arts. It continues to be creative. It continues to inspire. It continues to revolutionize our, our thinking. And with the digital technology we have, I thought this might be an opportunity to bring our two worlds closer together. The thought hadn't even crossed my mind of actually arranging it for orchestra and for electronics, but it would be even better, I think, for that purpose of like combining two realms to Absolutely. actually keep some of it. I'm really excited for uh, for that. I mean, I know that with uh, COVID, performances and concerts haven't exactly been possible. So I think coming up with like creative ways to showcase music is always, that's awesome. It totally is awesome. And I couldn't have done it without this awesome team of music producers. And so I wanna introduce you, we have actually I should do this. Schomburg, <laughs> who is a fantastic producer, and Will, his son, Will Schomburg, who is also a music producer and a, a totally brilliant electronic designer. So thanks for joining me tonight. Thank you. 
I remember this first conversation we had, Kim, when I was thinking about doing this and we just beginning to get the first few entries in from the kids and I was talking to you about it and thinking, hmm, I think I'm going to need some of your help and Will's help. So worked out, huh? So tell us, tell us about it from your perspective. For me, it really intrigued me and the idea of bringing the community together in these times. I mean, it's just so important and to keep to keep people engaged in the arts. Uh, and, and so it, it was we weren't really sure what we were going to have when we looked at all the different entries from from all the different people. Uh, from all the different students and how to put it together. But we just kept saying, oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And so now tonight we can say we figured it out. Yeah. Uh, but it but it was it was challenging, but it was fun because uh, it, it, it created, because it all had to be done remotely. So what we would normally be sitting in a room saying, oh, let's change this or how about this and this and this, we had to do remotely either on Zoom or or we'd send stuff and then get responses and back and forth. So the process actually took a little bit longer. But I was and then really there was a time lag, right? There was a jet. There was a time lag because Will is in LA and Dad is in, in Connecticut. Connecticut, right? right. Yeah. Which actually works out. Worked out. It, it works out well because Will tends to stand, stay up late, like I did when I was his age, mm -hmm. and I get up early. So a lot of times he'll be working on stuff until three in the morning, and then I'll hear it uh, just an hour later when I'm getting up and starting my day, uh, which is always a lot of fun for me. Yes. Will. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Let me let me say a couple things. Sarah, I just wanted to first say thank you for having me involved in this project. I'm very grateful. And it's exciting that, you know, we have the project and it's finalized and we're here tonight. And I'm super happy with all the work that we put in. And watching the clips earlier, I was just like, wow, we really have come a long way from the start of all of this. And yeah, just about showcasing all of the good things that the students submitted. And because all of them were very unique in their own way and just compiling them all together into this collage and then you know getting to work on kevin's track which is a masterpiece in itself it was a great experience for me and yeah i'm just like excited to premiere this tonight like we all are and yeah just like a really fun two months getting to work on this and you know we all definitely earned our keep on this i think so yeah you sure did my goodness i know i know how my Dropbox is just exploding. I need the I need the mega mega subscription to it. <laughs> but <laughs> such such unique um, stuff to work on. And um, yeah, I'm thankful to have you you guys who who just helped really come up with so many many great ideas. And uh, yeah, let let's let's just show a little bit of the behind the scenes the collage because essentially this piece of work that you're going to hear tonight is it is in two pieces it's number one it's the collage which is the kids put together we put together people's music first bit by bit and then we bring it all together in one final section and then the second part is undaunted which is one really outstanding composer who you just saw in, in that last little movie kevin kearney and how we kind of orchestrated and brought in the choir and recorded that process. So, so let's first of all dive into the collage. We tried to get away from this word, word for ages, but it just kind of kept coming back at us. So let's see the promo. Some of you may have seen it, but it's lovely to see. Fernanda did a great job. Let's watch a bit of the collage promo. Symphony Tacoma is proud to share with you a monumental multi-dimensional collaboration, Eternal Light. This piece is a fusion of music, art, dance and poetry, and shows the creativity that exists within the youth of Tacoma. These students were inspired by Mozart's Eternal Light and submitted their artwork and musical compositions in response. Following this, students then worked directly with our creative team led by Maestra Sarah Ioannidis to help see their submissions come to life. We weaved all these submissions together into one piece, the purpose of which is to uplift and inspire our community. We'd like to give a big thank you to all those in our community that collaborated on this project, including the Tacoma Youth Chorus. 
So welcome. Uh, we have a couple of the participants that send in music and one that sent in poetry. Yes, that's you. He's just leaving us. Come back, Mr. Hudson. There you go. <laughs> Wonderful. It's great to see you guys. And we have Kayana down here and we also have Audrey Hartman. And uh, all of you submitted some really interesting pieces of music. And uh, so we, we thought it'd be great to say hello to you. And particularly because in the final part of the collage, Kayana's song goes with Hudson's accompaniment and Audrey's piano is also put on top of that. And I'd, I'd like to hear from each of you what, what, what this process of kind of recomposing and then re-recording yourselves, we had so much dialogue back and forth to try to put this together. What, what was it like for you? Um, let's start with Kiana. So this project was really exciting and different. It was unexpected because when I first submitted my piece, I didn't expect to get much out of it. I thought I was just It was so much more. I think we lost a bit of sound there. Let's see. We'll we'll come back to you in in a moment, okay? Um let let's let's see how about for you, Hudson. Can we hear you? What your piano piece? You you now he, gonna hear it with Kiana's music. Um So Hudson is 10 years old and it sent this incredibly interesting jazzy piano part. And uh, then we, we asked you to do something with it. Do, can you remember what, what we, how we worked together on that? Um, I had to re-time it, so completely change the tempo. And how was that? Was it easy or difficult? Difficult, very difficult. <laughs> right, I'd say so. <laughs> You did a great job at it. And then you videoed yourself too. Have you have you ever done that? No. Well, I hope you like what, what you what you do there because I think it's absolutely great. We had a lot of fun putting you and, and Holly, who's who's there sitting with you, um, you'll see a lot of more and hear from her in the final part because she wrote incredible poetry called uh, Tell us about your poem for a moment. Growth. Um, how I, did you come up with that? I just, I sat down, I'm like, okay, I need to write a little bit of poetry for this sort of theme. And I, I don't really plan out how I write my poetry. I just let it happen. So yeah. I just, it's beautiful. And so for everybody, in case you want to just kind of hear the poetry or read it on your own, you can go to our YouTube link and in the description, the, the full poetry is, the poem is there on its own. And we just had some great fun with, with Audrey putting um, artworks with, with your words and then matching it up with Kevin's music. And there is Audrey. Say hi to everybody, Audrey. Hi, sorry, I had a few camera problems. That's all right, that's all right. Now, now Kim, you're, you're between Audrey and Kiana here. That, Maybe you can connect the two, what we did with this. Tell us everybody a little bit about how we kind of- Absolutely, because we, you know, we just kind of had this dialogue of, we looked at the different parts of it and we're like, okay, well, how are we gonna organize this? And and uh, Hudson submitted a video of him grooving on piano with his back to the camera. And I'm like, wait a minute, who is this? And and he's playing like a, an accomplished, you know, 35 year old. It's like, wait a minute, this, this guy's 10 years old? That's crazy. So so then when we started uh, thing, well, because we had talked about being able to overlap things and how is that gonna work? And then Kiana wrote this really cool piece and said, okay, well, maybe we can adapt it slightly to make it work with, with Hudson's piano piece. And then we're like, geez, I think we're gonna have to slow it down in order to get all the cool words that Kiana wrote in. And so we slowed it down and then 
I think we had to move it to a slightly different key, like up up a step or down a half step, which probably made it harder if you didn't hit the transpose button on your keyboard. Uh, so, and then we asked Hudson to re-record himself uh, doing the video on it. And he, again, this time we got to see him and he was grooving. So it was very cool. That was very cool. And let's try hearing from uh, Kayana and Audrey again. Can you really speak up? Because I just saw in one of the comments that um, we're having a hard time hearing you. So really uh, get close to your mic there and and t tell us. Kayana, what, what did you think when I sent that, that, that message? I re wrote out the music for your audio recording. I said, is, is this kind of what you meant? Because some of the tones that you were singing, you know, just like general pop music, they no longer fall into the standard traditional um, tonal line. They're kind of pitch bending and all sorts of really cool grooving stuff. And what did you think? Um, it was a little surprising and unexpected to see it being reworked. Because I didn't expect for it to be reworked. And it was a little hard to adjust to it because I always heard my original piece when that changed. So. Right. And and Audrey, you, you got to play a big part in um, Kayana's piece as well. Could you share with everybody what, what you did on Kayana's piece as well as the mm -hmm. piano thing that you submitted? I did a bit of backup singing and I recorded a harmonizing, a, har a harmony line and on the piano I did my own piece I submitted earlier in the year, which I played on the piano, which it had been revised, but it was nice. <laughs> it was good. Good. <laughs> It was beautiful. And and then one way that you'll see, we were always trying to figure out what we're going to do with Mozart, because for me, this is really the totally inspiration. And and I kept hearing the last line of Kayana's piece together with Mozart's Requiem. And Kim was kind of saying, um, uh, you know what, uh, uh, let's just like leave. Well, so like we tried it back and forth and we tried it like this and that. And in the end, it kind of stuck. Did you did you feel good about where, what we ended up with putting Mozart Requiem with the? Uh... Absolutely, and I I always have to say, even if I'm a skeptic, if it if the idea ends up being cool, uh, like one of the visual things that you would do at the last minute, you're saying, what if we do this in the visual? I'm like, ah, I don't think so. And then the next day, Fernanda put together the visuals that combine my idea with your idea, and your idea was cool. So yeah, that's part of the the collaborative process is to when somebody else who, the best idea wins. That's what I always say. Totally, totally. And you had so many great ideas, especially, you know, oh, I can't, I can't list them all, actually. But, you know, telling the kids to wear colors in, in the uh, the B-roll footage, which everybody will see after we do the YouTube video, just check it out because I hopefully it'll play about the same time as soon as the YouTube ends. But there's going to be um, a behind the scenes with all the kids film. And Kim, you really kind of helped direct that along because I was so in the weeds with everything. I I wasn't really thinking about that side of things. You came up with all these great ideas. And so I was calling stuff, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we get in the theater? <laughs> and we tried everything, but you know, it, it actually it worked out really well. And then Fernanda said, can we actually record the 60 frames per second? I was like, well, I don't understand. Yeah, what what is that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been great learning experience for me too. So it's great to see you guys. Um, Holly, you're going to come on back a little bit later when we do the um, the artsy side of this movie and Audrey as well. But for now, let's uh, let's go into a little bit of a, a clip about Undaunted. And Audrey, we'll see you also later. Hudson, thank you so much for your contribution and for joining us. And also to Kayana, we might see you at the end if we have time to do a wave goodbye. Let's hear the next clip of Undaunted. Symphony Tacoma is proud to share with you a monumental, multidimensional collaboration, Eternal Light, a fusion of music, art, dance, and poetry that shows you the creativity that exists within the youth of our region. Students ages 10 to 17 were invited to take their inspiration from a movement of Mozart's Requiem called Lux Eterna, which translates as Eternal Light. 
One outstanding entry named Undaunted resulted in the second part of Eternal Light composed by Kevin Kearney with artworks by Audrey Hartman and poetry by Holly Pierce, then orchestrated and recorded with members of Symphony Tacoma and the Tacoma Youth Chorus alongside the Special Electronics. I really like doing that where you have something that's huge in sound that really catches your attention, but there's kind of like this sub idea that's underneath it, which is equally interesting. So oh, right there, right there is where you, uh, it's where, where maybe a cello would come in. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kevin. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, it's like old times, isn't it? Almost the four of us sitting chatting here about, except it's, it's all happened now. Yeah. So, and I'm super stoked about it. We're so we're so thrilled. So we were just talking about your many interests right before we went live on this, and and I thought it'd be fantastic to uh, share with everybody that you know you're not only a phenomenal composer, but you're about to head into zoology. Is that is that right? That is that is correct. When I'm not writing music, um, my interests lie in zoology. Um, Right now, I live on the eastern side of Washington, but before I was a volunteer at the Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium over in Tacoma on the west side. I was a volunteer for three years, and now over here, I'm hoping to go into a two-year student program at the Cattails Wildlife Sanctuary and hopefully become a zookeeper, which is... You know, uh, you're famous yeah. in, at the zoo here because I went for a tour because we were looking um, for where we could do some outdoor stuff with, with Saul, our general manager, and I approached them and they were talking about, oh yeah, Kevin is gonna do this, doing this and this and this. It's like, what What do you mean, Kevin? <laughs> Kevin? And yeah, yeah there yep. you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, they definitely haven't gotten enough of me, that's for sure. Um, in the youth volunteer program there, I was part of a smaller uh, leadership program. And mm -hmm. part of that was working on conservation related projects. And yeah, that got me reaching out to all kinds of other community organizations. And one of them was Symphony Tacoma. <laughs> so yeah, it's crazy working on this and then also working uh, in the zoological areas, uh, combining those realms and those cultures almost. Um, because they don't really exist together, but everyone kind of likes or at least appreciates both of them, even if they're not actually integrated into what they're doing. So right. it's been amazing working in the volunteer program there. I'm currently working on a way to just like a, create a spotlight for talent, other unrelated things in the volunteer program uh, and bring out other talents, bring out the arts that other people enjoy. and. Uh, yeah, and then here, <laughs> uh, this whole project, again, I shared this with the volunteer program and everyone there. So again, just combining the music and arts is, or sorry, the music and the science realms has been uh, something really interesting to me. And this is a great way to do it. <laughs> I can almost hear, um, I mean, I'm not gonna say Animal Farm. I don't know if that's the right connection here, but, but we were talking in one of the Zoom sessions with Will and Kim about the complexity of your music and how that kind of made it really, really difficult to figure out how to orchestrate the whole thing because there are so many different lines and so many different things. And it's it's like, well, I'm not going to say it's like being at the zoo there, but but what, <laughs> what should you take first? Right. So Will, can you talk about it, reflect on his music from your side? You know, you're an accomplished electronic designer and, and producer yourself. And so what was that like taking Kevin's piece and doing something with it? Yeah, absolutely. And I'll say it again, like what Kevin had originally was great as is. And just, you know, stripping down, like what's the most important part of each section? And I, I'll let Kim, my dad, talk more about like what he chose to orchestrate for and like send back to Symphony Tacoma to play the parts for. Um, but yeah, kind of just like sifting through and um, figuring out what parts, you know, we, we wanted to kind of focus in on and kind of just make this like undaunted kind of like 2.0 for this project specifically. And 
I'm grateful that Kevin, you know, allowed me to work on it. And then I, you know, I ended up redoing the drums and um, some of the transitional effects. And I guess I'll let Kim kind of talk about just getting the orchestrations together and then having come back to me to mix the orchestra back in. And this is like, you know, a lot of steps to the song. Um, and the choir. And the, yeah, and the oh, live yeah. choir. Oh, I yeah. forgot the choir. You know. That, yeah. don't do that every day um oh you did an awesome job i mean totally yeah. totally gorgeous yeah yeah you're gonna say your your dad i actually i should say this this way your dad yeah, so, well, yeah thank you for the segue will that was really excellent uh well and it's it's interesting because one of the big things we wanted to do was combine musicians from symphony tacoma um like 10 musicians and uh, on onto this electronic piece of music and and it, it's it's a new genre because we're you know we're you know we this has been done before but to to tie in mozart and uh, all these other things and to create something new to take kevin's melodies that were originally on electronic instruments or samples and to bring them to life with excellent excellent musicians uh from from uh, the tacoma area and 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 to, to let them do their things and so it created something knew that Kevin hadn't thought of and and we didn't really know and then on top of that to have all the voices of the of the students to also we have a three part choir that goes on uh and if you stick around for the credits uh for undaunted you'll hear the choir featured uh but it's and it's also it's it's all about community it's all about bringing things together because we all are working at home on our things you know i orchestrated by myself in my office kevin creates the electronic music in in uh, spokane wills in in hollywood working on his part and, and you're in tacoma and then it's like okay well we have to collaborate and figure out how to make this all come together in some cohesive hopefully cohesive fashion <laughs> Yeah, and it's very interesting the way we have to do this when we cannot get together because, you know, for somebody to record just their sound, they basically need to hear either a click track or um, some kind of audio file that they play absolutely in sync with. And in order to start precisely on time, they need a lead in cue and all of that kind of stuff. Even the kids we had to work, work on that with. And then, you know, to get them on camera and of course everybody has different equipment and to try to get it all blended i mean it's just it was such a an extraordinary um i'd say effort but that's not the right way it, uh, <laughs> not the right word because um labor of love i think you put it kim in yep. one of your texts to me exactly <laughs> Let, let's show a little bit of the clip of um some of the sessions that you guys had together working with Will and Kevin and came together on the music. Sure. Okay, we made it to the last stage of Eternal Light, which is editing. So a quick recap of everything we've done in the last couple of months. We have Noel, Catherine, Mary, Sandin, Craig, Catherine, Denali, and Chris for the orchestra instruments. So that's eight. And then for the kids, we have Hannah, Zoe, Hudson, Audrey, Elsa, Gloria, Ellie, Shella, Carl, Kiana, Jacob, Kevin, of course, and Holly wrote the poem. Everyone contributed to some sort of art form uh, to, to the collage and to Undaunted. And then we can't forget the members of the Tacoma Youth Chorus. Then we have two hours of time-lapse footage, about 20 different sketches, three central paintings, pictures, and all the video clips. And now we have to combine every single piece to make it look like it's one cohesive whole. So... It's all done. Thank God for movie magic. <laughs> Thank you. 
back. And that was just an incredible sample of the great work that went on the film side. And welcome, Fernanda. Uh, Hi. And down, I'm still trying to figure out how to point. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It's okay. I think it, it's that way. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and Audrey and Holly. So, um, Fernanda, I'd love for you to talk about how you um, edited and connected all these different pieces. And Audrey, I'd love for everybody to hear um, and meet Holly, whose poetry you you connected to. Let's start with Fernanda. Sure. Okay. So, hi, I'm Fernanda. Um, so, overall, this was just an incredibly interesting project for me because I had never really worked with something with this many layers, right? Because if we start with like just editing different types of music, like with electronic, it's always like you cut quickly and you make it look like cool. And then classical music is very smooth and calm. So just combining those two was already a, a, an interesting task, let alone everything that everybody else did. Cause I'm like the final part, right? I have the music and then Hudson and Holly's work and then Audrey's paintings everything had to be kind of combined together to make something that looked like it, it was cohesive and it made sense um which which was really like i didn't know if it was going to come together or not when they told me everyone was recording in their homes and they had different lighting and different distance i was just i was genuine genuinely like clueless as to how this was going to come together but then when i started seeing the the, the the submissions coming in and listening to the music, it, they kind of showed me how to do it. They they were essentially guiding me through the steps. And I was using the the highlights and like the strengths of each piece to try to connect them. So it was a lot easier when I saw everybody else's work. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, and it was just so incredible to see how everybody put their own personality into it. And I really, really tried to highlight that in every piece so that you got like one cohesive whole made up of everybody. Because since everybody's kind of far away and everybody's in their own, you know, home and um, it was kind of bringing all the segments together and the individual pieces together that made it look like it was one whole thing um but yeah so that's essentially my takeaway <laughs> tell us about where you learned to do your film um editing and making oh okay. well I mean, I I'm I studied finance, right? And I minored in film. But editing for me has always been so such an intrinsic thing, thing something that has drawn a I don't know, something out of me that I haven't found anywhere else. So I started editing little things for nonprofits and I met Kim and Will through one of them a, as a video editing instructor. So they teach an, a, a songwriting class and I started editing the lyric videos for them. And um, so that's how I ended up here as well. So it's a really interesting a, dynamic, but um, it's something that I've also kind of always worked on the side and now it's my full time job and I'm forever grateful for it. So I, I just hope to continue doing this, honestly. <laughs> you super super talented as everybody's going to see it's it's incredible um and audrey you you got to know fernanda's work and fernanda you got to know audrey's work and i think holly hasn't quite got to see audrey's work and she's going to see it in a minute but audrey can you make that connection between uh, the art that you created and then um and holly's holly's poetry how it inspired what you did as well as kevin's music um I took the words from Holly's poem and I drew them. I put them into a painting. <laughs> yeah, I took those words and made it into something that could be explained in a different way, which would be art. <laughs> Holly, do you see some of the poetry in the paintings we sent? of Audrey's, just, do you recognize it? Does it does it strike any chords with you? Uh, completely, I think she did a great job with uh, transferring it over to a more visual art form. And they all turned out really beautiful, so yeah. Fantastic. You know, I think it'd be wonderful uh, because one thing that's been really hard about this project is to actually describe it to people, even when we would go back to the very, very beginning, when we were trying to design the poster and then how we were trying to write it up and how to explain it, it's been really, really difficult because there are so many layers, so many connections. And I think it's one of my great passions is to connect people um, with their music and their art and for that to be a great inspiration, just just like Mozart connects us today with what, with his uh, Luxia Turner. And which is, of course, um, 
goes way back before Mozart's time anyway. And so I thought, let's connect everybody here right now and bring everybody on the screen and let's have the opportunity for folks to ask questions in this last five minutes. Um, what, what this is, is this making sense? Send us a, who, who would you like to hear from and what question do you have for them? I think we've got the picture of what everybody did. Um, so we're just uh, offering, a, and meanwhile, it's a free for all. Jump in. Don't make it one of those Zooms where everybody's just um, listening to one person. <laughs> well, I saw I saw one question um, about um, what I'll be doing as far as music in the future, and I would love to answer that. So uh, right now, at least, I have my first album out, uh, which I believe will be available to find on the videos and, and some of the promotional stuff out on Facebook and whatnot. But I am also in the middle of writing my second album. Um, it's definitely work in progress. And uh, I currently don't have much of a timeline as far as when it will be finished, but it is in the making and I am very excited about it. Um, so stay tuned for that, I guess. <laughs> great, excellent. We, we're looking forward to hearing it. And, and for everybody, the, the album is listed in the YouTube description for Eternal Light. So we have a question from Robert Allen. Um, how did you all come together? Kim, would we you like know. to take that one? <laughs> yes, sure. It's, it, it, I actually, I love this because it's a, such a, a, the connections are so great. So I went to college at Eastman School of Music with, with Sarah's husband, Scott Hartman who was an incredible trombone player, and I was a trombone player back in those days. So uh, I met Sarah through Scott, and then we started doing various things. And then uh, when Sarah started telling me about this, uh, you know, I showed her a, a, a promo clip of the songwriting class that my son Will and I were doing. And I said, we have this incredible filmmaker that's been, been working on these things. And she's just out of college. I don't ever have to say anything to her. She just does her job. She would be great on this because, again, what I love about having Will on this and Fernanda is they bring a – it's sort of connecting the ages uh, between the students who are high school and younger to – people like me who've, you know, been around doing this stuff for a while, um, they bring a perspective in things that I wouldn't think of uh, musically as well as visually. And so I love those connections. Oh, that's great. I, I love them too. And and one one thing, we've enjoyed it so much that, that this, this question really rings with me. It says, do you plan to make this a yearly project? <laughs> and I say, I'll, I'll only do it if my team will join me in it. And uh, I was just saying, we got to figure out how many hours we you guys put in because I know um, we we sort of didn't really know how much work it was going to be when we started. But but it's been such an extraordinary process that I think many more kids would love to join. So if we've got the budget in the future, we would love to do something like this again. And this could be Eternal Light One, and you never know, number two could be next year. We'll see. And we have another question. Um, let's see. Um, well, I, I, I've lost it now in the chat. Oh, I remember Scott asked a question about Will. What was Will like when he was one year old? <laughs> what was Will like? Oh, boy. Well, we were living actually in Los Angeles at the time. Uh, and actually, we were for the first two years of Will's life, he was on the road. Uh, I was working on uh, musicals in London and in New York, and so we had these. We had traveled with seven suitcases, and and five of them were Will's for all of his. You know, we had like baby gates and and you know paraphernalia, and we. So Will kind of got used to thinking that was the normal thing to do is to travel and and to you know go to these music things and hear all these amazing music you know people so he was he was used to that kind of uh, scenario so this is not a not a new thing for him it got us thinking because when we had twins and started traveling i was thinking about all those suitcases that will had <laughs> and i'm thinking what do we do today? 
a bit harder to do when you fly. Hey, and Kiana's back. Welcome. Welcome. So glad to see you back with us. We're just talking, we're taking some final questions. And um, somebody has a question. Maybe if you've got good audio, you can answer it. It says, was it complicated to combine all the different styles of music, writing, and art? Well, um, I think your bit was kind of complicated. You tell us about your bit, and then I'll, I'll, I'll finish the rest off for you. We're having trouble hearing you. There you go. Okay, question, Sarah. Was it difficult um, to sort of re rewrite and re-sing your part with um, with newly organized music tempos and keys? It was a certain Certain way you guys can different and sort of conclusive to relearn it. Well, I think the audio is we're having trouble hearing you again, but I, I think I know what you're saying, so I'll, I'll try to do a bit of translation. And I think she said yes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it was wasn't it? And I, I felt like, um, will she mind if we do this? So I felt very cautious about, oh, if we, if we kind of, if we, we change the words around a bit here and so we're going to fit it with this rhythm and then could you try to, are you happy to let your piece go out like this? Well, it's, it's like Will said about Kevin's, it's the version 2.0 as opposed to your 1.0 version. You can do whatever you like with 1.0 when this pro project is over. But but yeah, it was it was complicated. And one of the things that um, the different styles, just as somebody pointed out, were, were quite hard in the collage to combine. For example, Gloria's music was, had such a totally different energy than the Green Sisters' Light is Faster Than Sound. And so what, it was really Kim and Will who figured out, well, if, if we do this with it and we put it onto marimba, and we put a bit of a, a sound, and then Kim came up with the ingenious idea of a dancer. Uh, remember that? Yes. It's like, what are we going to do for this section? <laughs> like, how about a dancer? <laughs> so I put a word out, and Audrey put a word out, and uh, we got somebody to say, yeah, we'll do it. And we sent them the short little clip of, I don't know, was it? 45 seconds or a minute and, and she came back with this fantastic. And then Fernanda, Fernanda did just such a cool thing with the music and all of that. So it's actually really one of my favorite bits. And I think that's one of the beauty in, in this collage is, is the contrast in it is, is quite extraordinary, yet it all ties together. The last song together, only if you would see the score would you see that every single person's music who submitted music is all interwoven together. And that's something that I have to thank Kim for brilliance um, and working with me on, on these melodies back and forth with. So you really just did a beautiful job combining everything towards the end. Thank you. So what, what a great group of people to work with. Um, it's been just an amazing journey and I can't thank all of you who are not just you guys here with me, thank you so much, but to all the many, many kids and all the many people who were involved and supported this project right from the beginning. Um, it was really hard to fathom, but it was extremely special. Um, the Tacoma Youth Chorus and Judy Harrington, Diane Green and the University Place Presbyterian Church letting us get in the venue. I mean, because you can imagine just finding a venue that where we could just pop into and put up a green screen. That was, oh, and look, we have two of the other participants. Audrey, would you introduce your siblings? This is Austin and Carl. They are um, younger, <laughs> I mean, they are fraternal twins. Um, oh, me too. High five. Yay. Hi. You can come a little closer to the camera so people can recognize you're the people in the movie that they're about to see. You're going to see Elsa Elsa play clarinet and keyboard. And, piano, yeah. and you're going to, right, and then you're going to see Carl play his ukulele. 
And they wrote their own songs. It's just, it's incredible. It's really cool. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Great. Well, this has been just fantastic. And I, I don't want to keep everybody too much longer because we've got 15 minutes to um, crack open your favorite uh, beverage and go uh, si sign into YouTube. Please subscribe. Join us in the comments, everybody, and we'll see you. Uh, and if you want to save for your comments for after, because, you know, you blink and this goes by so fast, it is just so special and beautiful. And I can't thank everybody enough for making this incredible internal light come to life. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Sarah. You're the Thank best. You, Sarah. Yay. This has been awesome to be a part of. Thanks. Oh, for sure. And remember to stick around for the behind the scenes footage because there's some really funny things that happen in, in that. So if you miss it um, afterwards, you can just go back to YouTube channel and you'll you'll see eternal light behind the scenes. And oh, and one thing. Supported. Go ahead. Uh, I know you guys don't watch the credits of anything ever, like movies, we just get up and leave. Please watch the credits of this project. The music is fantastic and there's some cool editing things going on, especially in the collage. So I highly, highly encourage you, watch the credits all the way to the end. And then when you rewatch it, you don't have to watch the credits, but just for the first one, please do. Thank I you never for leave the theater until the credits are over. That's actually one of my favorite bits. Me too. <laughs> That's why I work with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, we'll see you all. Um, I don't know when, but hopefully not too long. When we can do it in person. How about that? Absolutely. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Sarah. Awesome. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Kian. Mm -hmm.